Hello everyone, welcome to this quick video of Project Scar 2 with the Pimax AK Plus and how to run it with a parallel projection which consumes a lot of resources and therefore take advantages of the headset, in my case despite my 1080 Ti and the game which is absolutely beautiful with this configuration by launching it directly by PyTool without SteamVR and gaining a lot of frame per second. Enough to make it run at 45 stable frames by second and activate the 90 smart mode frame by second and this without aliasing. To run Project Cars 2 without SteamVR, nothing simpler. Just locate your Project Cars 2 directory with Steam is the easiest. Then, in this directory, it is necessary to add a text file. So, right click, new text file, and name it steam underscore apeid.txt. Inside, write 378860. Save, and then go to PyTool and add the game via the My Games tab. Then, import. Go to Project Cars 2 directory and add the exec to it. Please note if Oculus Home is not installed on your computer, the manipulation will not work. And if this is the case, you need to download two files from the Oculus library, whose links are in the description, in order to copy them into the Project Cars 2 directory. And that's it, just launch it from here without going through SteamVR. With PyTool rendering at 1.5 in normal field of view and smart smoothing activated, the game is absolutely beautiful. No more aliasing. It is beautiful and it runs wonderfully. I don't have the frame per second displayed, but I can guarantee that smart smoothing is activated and that the game is at least at 45 frames per second. Here, are some image captured with my phone and some photos that may give you an idea of what it looks like. This is simply fantastic, such a difference. It is smooth, but it's also beautiful. I would not hope to be able to have access to such graphics. The aliasing has completely disappeared and it is brilliant. In addition, the smart smoothing lets appear some artifacts or glitches from time to time with the parallel projection. And with it deactivated, the image is now without occasional duplication or stutter. It's really amazing. I'm really happy with this manipulation, which has to be done only once, of course. Just launch Project Cast 2 from PyTool now. I thank VR Maniac for sharing this tip and also give you the link of the description to its explanatory video. I was about to do it for IL2 Stumovic but now IL2 no longer needs parallel projection to work on a Pimax. I must admit to ignore how much the super sampling is said to have such a picture. Maybe 100%? I don't know. And I'm not going to lie to you, for this case it doesn't matter to me. The rendering cannot probably be better. It might be interesting to know it in order to apply to other games. This manipulation can work on other games, but not all. But it will be for our next video. Thank you for watching until the end. If you liked this video, please slide a thumbs up and think about subscribing if you haven't already. I remind you that it's possible for you to support me by YouTube or Patreon, whose links are in the description, if you want and if you can afford it. Just a like, a subscription and a sharing can do the trick too. I wish you an excellent VR, take care of yourself and your loved ones. It was the Dix, bye!